Hey, what's going on, guys? Gimmick Spirit Hunt here. Welcome to another part of Weapon Cortex today. Um, um, well, in my last video, I did up to uh, level nine, which is the vehicle, the vehicle level. And now we're starting the kind of the sewage. I don't know, some kind of electric water level. There's the water level, anyway. You know, my favorite. Anyway, cutscene. They're gonna have to hang you out to dry when I get through with you. Yeah, so after him blabbering on, um, yeah, so, as you guys know, it's Halloween tomorrow, so this is kind of my halloween -y walkthrough episode today. Uh, I might do another part of food because I still need to go to save it, so, um, I might start some of the fire levels. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I actually don't like this level, really. I used to like it, but I hate the stupid things that you can die from, it's rather ridiculous. And uh, as you're opening, you've got a lovely, a lovely loading screen to um, help you. Yes, yeah, so it's Halloween tomorrow, so yeah, um, I'm making a Halloween special video tonight. So the reason why I'm not going to do it tomorrow is because um, I'm actually busy tomorrow. As you know, it's Halloween, so I will be doing something. I'll be just be sitting here recording, unfortunately. Um, but I will make some videos sometime. Uh, maybe um, on Tuesday or something, because I don't believe I'm doing anything on Tuesday. And uh, let's, uh, okay, let's start off on the submarine. Ugh, not too key. I hate water levels. Whether you're in a vehicle or you just, even if you're inside. Anyway, right, yeah, so let's get rid of these nitrous boxes. Yeah, got to destroy these falling things. They can be really annoying sometimes. See what I mean? You can't even see that. They don't, they don't even make you see that. Look, you, it's hidden in the rock. It's blended in with the rock arm to see if it's coming. All I can hear, I can only hear it, and that's not good enough because when, when I can hear it, it's coming towards me, so that's not good, is it? Yeah, let's just try another one of these little runs. Alright, and let's try that. Yeah, you see how fast that fish just came at me? I'm not gonna do it. See, I mean, look at that. Is all I can see is those little pricks coming from the bottom of it, and I'm gonna, I'm not gonna notice that. I've, I haven't got like 6D eye vision, do I? It's so, ridiculous. Well, you know, I do have 6D eye vision, or so, something like that. Anyway, I don't know what kind of D we visioning, but it's something quite high. But in the game, they don't have 6D vision. We, we barely, we haven't even made a 3D game yet. We made a 3DS, but that's not even. 3D is it? It's in the screen, so. Uh, so, yeah, so unless they invent that, then they're never going to be seeing these little falling things. I don't like these little things. You see what I mean? He comes flying at me at that speed, and I can't even see him, so what's the point in that, really? Uh, so, yeah, this game could piss me off a lot of times, but to be honest, I'm actually enjoying playing it. It's not my favourite walkthrough that I've been doing, but, you know, it's still quite a good one. I enjoy it, doing it. I hate this stupid vehicle. I really do. Look at it, it's so ridiculous looking as well. It looks like a freaking elephant with yellow banana elephant as well. And finally we get out of this stupid water and we're back in to crash mode. We finally crash again. Uh, that's not even a while since we've actually played with crash. If you think about it, we've, the third level was Kirka. No, if you don't count the swimming parts, this we haven't played Crash since um, the first level of the Water Hub levels. So that's the jungle level. The se the second the seventh level was the water level, which is London. And um the eighth level is when we use Coca. And the ninth level is when we use the vehicle. And so yeah, uh, we use the vehicle for the starting parts. This is actually quite a while since we've used crashes himself without swimming or doing anything or in a, ve a vehicle. So yeah, it's quite good to be crashed again. I'm actually glad we're getting back into gameplay again. I'm actually getting sick of Coco and the vehicles and everything. I can get so many ridiculous deaths. I mean, the, even being with electric water, even if I'm inside the water right now, I'm inside of it, so I'm not in it. I s even just looking at it, I still don't like it. I, I just hate water levels, it's just so annoying. Whatever the thought of inventing them, I swear down, I'm gonna kill the guy. Yeah, it's this stupid electric water, god knows how this only one little wire is creating all this little 
electric water. And then see, even these guys, they're, they're annoying me. Why, why are they just there? I completely dodged the guys. I was throwing those little green aliens from me. Uh, So let's jump over these. Yeah, Sonic Generations comes out on Friday to me. For America, it comes out on Tuesday. God knows when it comes out for Japan, but I anyway, hope you guys are going to enjoy Sonic Generations. I'm pretty sure I will. And then uh, Modern Warfare 3 comes out the following week, which is, um, I think it's... What the hell, what day is it? I think it's um, Thursday. Because all I remember is that I have a, I have a maths exam uh, one day before it comes out. I mean, I mean, one day after it comes out, so I'm not going to play, play Mother Warfare 3 probably. I'd advise the same for you guys, if you guys got a math exam, just don't play it, because you'll be thinking about Mother Warfare 3 all day. Because you'll be playing it and you'll be thinking, oh yeah, I need to level up and all that. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, do not do it, because it's not a good idea, to be honest. Um, you'll have it on your mind all day, and you won't do good. Because Mother Warfare 3, yeah, it's a great game, isn't it? I mean, but... This is your future you're talking about. Maybe Sonic Generations because it comes out on the Friday, so or the Tuesday, so you've got plenty of time to play it. Once it comes down to the weekdays, just revise, we mean. If you've got time to play it, then fair enough play it, but you know, I wouldn't recommend um well, you know, playing it when you got the one day for exam because you need to just spend your time revising really. All the other days, yeah, if you've got a little bit of time, but make sure that you revise a little bit, because remember, this is an important exam, especially if you have one. Um, this goes for anyone, really, if you, even if you're... Well, to be honest, I, this is my opinion. I'm not saying do it, but years 7, 8, and a bit of year 9, that doesn't matter, believe me. It doesn't matter what you get in the tests. I mean, you know, try and do a little bit well, but it doesn't actually matter what you get. Because it's not a, a GCSE. Uh, when you get halfway through year nine, you start to do some GCSE tests. Now these do count, so remember you do good in these. Because I actually did all right in English. I got like C's and D's and stuff. You know, mainly C, but so that's why my target this year is a D slash C. I know I may sound bad, but I'm not the smartest person, as you can see. Um, well, I've been, I wouldn't be doing Crash Bandicoot. I'd be doing stuff like it for the. Um, it's a really hard game to play. I don't know. Yeah, I've been playing like stuff like that, but I, I enjoy playing this anyway. We've got another thing coming up, so see you. Ah! Get over here, you little orange sponge! Because we're going to ring you out. Yeah, so like he said, we're not, he's not going to ring us out, we're going to ring him out, because we're clearly going to beat him. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of ridiculous deaths on this level too. I'm actually pretty proud that I can complete this level in this part, but yes, yeah, so that means this boss will be done and we'll move on to the fire guy, so we've got no more corny characters now. And it was the same, yeah, um, but yeah, anyway, just do well really, I mean, I did alright, and so uh, you want to keep on that borderline of C and stuff, because C is like, you know, the main level that you want to get. I don't know if it works differently in America, but um, just, even if you're in America, just do as well as you can really and achieve the best that you can. Anyway, yeah, let's beat this little water boy, which I've been wanting to do for about, I uh, ages now, since we even started the water hub. Anyway, it's a really pretty easy boss, but I, I sometimes die from stupid death like that. He either does it too fast or too slow, and he's mainly doing it too slow because I want to speed it up now. Yeah, there's a bunch of really ridiculous deaths, which I don't understand. See what I mean? What the hell? Too slow. What the hell? Why can't you just do it faster? He knows that I want to get past it, and that's why he's doing it. So I mean, he's waiting for me to jump before he does it. I mean, is it even allowed to do that? Yeah, I think I get it past it in this level, so... Yeah, just have to wait for a bit and then go. Guys, this boss is easy. I actually think it's easier than the first one as well. Yeah, just remember with the green ones, jump over it. <coughs> anyway, yeah, this is one he's going to do something new in it, which I'm going to explain in a minute. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, he's going to do that, so let's basically jump and he'll be fine. Uh, this is the last one, so just jump over that, dodge that, and just spin him, and that's it. And we get, we earn a new skill, which is double jump, which I've been wanting to have for quite a while now, because I do like double jump. It comes handy. Anyway, we're in, we're at, this is going to be. I'm going to end the episode here. I'm sorry that you guys won't be able to see the luxurious loading screen. I'll be doing another part soon, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy Halloween, everyone, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.